Welcome guys, this is Sunday 7 RCT, and here I am bringing you another unfiltered, in this case is unfiltered number 8, uh, this time around, I'm hoping I'm not going to take too long with this video, this one is going to go like straight to the point, it's not gaming related, however, it does have to do with the channel, and it affects a lot of us who are viewing and who are making content and that is of course the recent change in policies on YouTube now YouTube has been at it you know um, for quite some time in terms of changes that they've done uh, most of them are polarizing divisive um, some people like them some people don't some people are willing to give them a try some people just quit altogether and they get fed up me personally as a small channel I, I I'm at the point I can't say maybe in a future I will change the way that I think in regards to doing content for the channel I have tried different platforms but it has always been about having uh, love and passion for what you do um, there's of course, uh, the, the concept of what drives you to make content for other people to enjoy. That is clear to me, at least in my regards, why I keep doing what I do, even though I know I cannot make a living out of it. At least not at this point. So, that being said, how does this affect me, this new change? Well, to be completely honest, it, it doesn't. But it really kind of puts a, a little bit of a hamper in the mood, in the drive that you might have. I know a lot of people are just like me. They're very hardworking. They don't have enough time or resources to just throw money at the channel. I wish I could. And I know a lot of people wish that they could as well. But the fact remains that until you reach a certain point where you have let's say a platform or you have a group of people who are willing to give you a hand in uh, particularly the, the cost the, you know the not so much the upkeep but to have the basic stuff that you need to provide quality content for your viewers is not an easy thing to do especially when you're not getting anything back now I'm not gonna sit here and just you know go uh, wailing like you know oh my god YouTube has done this big nasty thing to me personally because I don't feel it that way but to give you a better and a clearer idea of what the hell I'm talking about um, let's move here and put up a recent notice this is the point of contention right here this is the point of me ma making the video in the first place recently last week um, I received a YouTube letter an email from uh, from YouTube uh, stating the following let me bring it up here on screen and what they say here what they mention here is that the new policy of their partner program based on those new policies my channel but I know that a lot of people smaller channels receive the same email is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers <clears throat> now I haven't checked the hours of watch time on mine not for quite some time but I know definitely I fail because I am not near being a thousand subscribers in so that's it as a result your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube partner program on February 20 2018 unless you surpass the threshold in the next 30 days yeah of course sure YouTube my this video is gonna go viral and I'm gonna get those subs immediately um, this email also serves as a 30-day notice that your YouTube partner program terms are terminated so that's basically it 
it's ironic because in the, in the bottom part portion of this email says one of YouTube's core values is to provide anyone the opportunity to earn money from a thriving channel. Creators who haven't reached this new threshold can continue to benefit from our creative academy. Okay, <clears throat> now this is my first impression when I read this. Um, we are at YouTube. We need to uh, focus on the people who are making a lot of ad revenue for us. And, you know, everybody else is filler. So, you know, I'm sorry, but forget about the tools for monetization and all that stuff because you're not worth the time. Now, that might seem a little harsh, but that's the way it really, in the end, that's what it really is. And again, this doesn't affect me, even though I, I might sound a little cynical and a little bit hurt. I'm not. I'm going to say why. The minute I read this, uh, I called up my girl Afro Soul and I started talking to her because, of course, we both are RCT. We're part of the same team. And I explained to her this and she got a little bit angry, but we both realized at the same time, this is not going to change our drive. This is not going to change our passion. This is not going to change the way we feel about making content. Why? Because even before these changes, we weren't making any money out of this anyway. We, d we don't have, right now my subs are sitting at 150 something, perhaps. So there is no way in hell, even the most viewed videos that I have on my channel, and I have over 300 of them, are not making any kind of money whatsoever. Even if it had the views that it needed to make them, YouTube always finds a way how to either cut the monetization because of copyright infringement, which they've had that issue and all algorithms and all that crap, which I'm not going to get into that. But the point being that for the longest time, you need to have a stratus. I mean, it has to be in the stratosphere. Your, your subs and your views in order for you to make any kind of living whatsoever out of this. So no, YouTube, even though you're a pain in the ass and even though this is a slap in the face for those small creators like myself who have a passion to make other people who are viewing happy, um, it's not going to deter from um, RCT in particular, me, and Afro Soul to keep making content for you guys. The only thing that can get in the way of that, of course, is that our resources deplete completely and we just can't keep doing it. You know, that would be the only thing. But regardless, 2018 has just started, has just begun. I'm still very pumped in doing a lot of content for you guys. I want to tell all the small creators out there, all the small channels out there. I'm an old dude. I mean, I'm 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 old. I know that my stuff is not gonna skyrocket, it's not gonna go viral. I, I don't use the cutting edge when it comes to video editing or doing videos and stuff like that. Most of my my stuff is unscripted. You can see you can tell the faults uh, from it from a mile away. I really don't care because this is who I am. But for you guys out there who are struggling, who are kind of questioning if you should continue after this, I say go ahead and do it. Unless you find another platform, which I also will be looking for. Um, but don't, don't let that keep you away from doing what you want, what you like, what you are passionate about, just because of this. This is just business as usual for the suits over at YouTube because, of course, we are not people, we are numbers. And apparently, we don't fall within the numbers that they like. So, it's okay. It's no problem. Just keep doing what you love. Um, keep going forward, and you're going to see. You're going to find your place. Maybe I won't have that luck, but you, you out there who can be the next hit, can be the next you know thing trending and going you know super viral and stuff don't let this 
kind of stuff deter you? I've seen a whole bunch of tweets and stuff like that of people very disappointed, saying that they're going to call quits. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't let these people in particular have the last laugh because um, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You go ahead. Give it a try. Don't let this uh, hold you back. And as far as RCT, we're here for the long run. I We knew from the beginning this was not going to be a sprint. This was going to be a marathon. So with the help of you guys, I'm hoping that, you know, I'll be here all the way through 2020 or 2021. Let's see what happened, guys. But for the time being, that's basically what I wanted to say. I wanted to get that off my chest. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Stay tuned, guys, for the real meat and potatoes of the whole thing, which is, of course, gaming. And in that sense, I will be back really soon with another video. Probably and most likely something shoot 'em up related or uh, fighter related, like the Dragon Ball Z fighters. So I'll see you guys soon. Take care.